you know, your casual Israelite out there whose approach to the truth is being a part of something, you know, just something to do. You know, your view, your perspective of being an Israelite is nothing more than another trending topic, man. You're perfectly content with being an Israelite here in America. Well, if that applies to you, then this information is not for you. This is only reserved for the elect of the nation of Israel, the serious-minded. Those of you out there who understand the power in which you serve. And I'm going to just say this. This book is not as of an open and shut case as one might think. You know, you put your mind to it. You know, you apply yourself enough, then you can come into the understanding of the Holy Scriptures. What you're going to find out, this is a very complex book with a lot of twists and turns. A book of dark sands which require a man of understanding to shed light upon. This book has fascinated and baffled so-called biblical scholars and historians, man. Alright? So your approach should be that of one who understands the power in which you're dealing with. See? So when you present it with the idea of reincarnation, you shouldn't marvel at that. See? Again, it says... And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, and these children here will be concerning Jacob and Esau, which will be considered the two main characters, if you will, in this drama. Jacob being the forefather, the father, if you will, of the children of Israel, which will consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Esau being a progenitor of the so-called white race. See? These are the two extremes. The two